Hey guys, I'm Mike from On Point Crafts, and in today's video, we're going to compare two different ladder strategies to see which one pays better. Hey you guys, welcome back to the On Point Crafts table. Today's content is brought to us by one of my subscribers named Gary Mills, and he asked, uh, what would make more money, a uh, Wayland's 410 ladder strategy or the same type of strategy with a 6 and 8? Uh, I thought it was a good question. Uh, I didn't really have a good answer, so I figured the best way to find out was to roll some dice and see what happens. Uh, so for those of you that aren't familiar with Wayland's 410 ladder, I do have a video on it. You can uh, search it, check it out. But the basis of it is uh, you bet the 4 and the 10, and for every loss, you ladder up one unit, and for every win, you ladder back down one unit. Now, the theory behind using the 4 and 10 is the three different combinations for the 4 and the 10 um, give you six total combinations. There's six total combinations to weigh, roll to seven, so it should kind of be a 50-50 toss on win-loss, and if you do loss, uh, when you win your winning stra strategy, once you ladder up, you're getting paid two to one. Uh, so you make up for that loss very quickly. Now, the theory behind the 6 and 8, I think, is you'll have more combinations uh, to increase your chance of hitting those numbers. Even though the payouts won't be as high, it's likely that you'll hit more often. Uh, so my gut tells me if I were to answer, I would say the 410 uh, is the better strategy just because it of the payout. But um, kind of the proof is in the pudding, as we say. So... I'm just going to roll out for 10, 15 minutes uh, and see where bankroll stands. If one of the bankrolls gets wiped out, then obviously we will know uh, that that strategy didn't work. So we're going with $300. Uh, I got 200 in green, another 100 in red for the 410, um, 80 in red, and 20 in white for the 6 and 8 strategy because I'm going to need um, whites for my caps. There would normally be a VIG on this um, when you get to the higher levels and have to start buying uh, the 4 and 10 for payout. I'm not going to worry about VIGs. I've done it in the past because when you start laddering up and laddering down, you're getting VIG back and then you have to pay VIG again. It just uh, adds more complexity. Let your dealer be the person to worry about uh, VIG. Uh, just remember it's about $1 for every $20 uh, that you bet. And that's how it works. So with that being said, $300 bankroll. It's going to be a $10 minimum table just uh, to keep the bankroll kind of roll uh, low and reasonable. And we'll go ahead and get started. So 4 and 10, each going to start with a $10. Now at this point, they are not bought. And we're going to go $12 on the 6 and the 8. And we're just going to be rolling randomly. Uh, we'll roll for, uh, like I said, a couple minutes couple different shooters depending on how long the rolls are and we'll see where we go so the first dice dice are out we're always working dice are out and it is a come out four we'll keep track with the puck just so we know how many shooters we've had the point is four that is a win ten dollars on the four and ten will pay us uh eighteen dollars there's eighteen we're just going to go ahead and rack it. Every time we win, we're just going to rack. Dice are out. And there's seven out. Very quickly, there's a seven out. It's going to be our first shooter. So all this drops. And now we ladder up. Ladder up one unit. So we're going to go ahead and go to 20 on the 4 and 10. Now, at this point, as I said, these would be bought. Uh, there would be a $1 VIG associated with each of these bets. And we're not going to worry about VIG for this. And the 6 and 8 will each go up to 24. New set of dice. And coming out. 
And that is a 538, eight the easy way, 538. So that's going to be a winner here on the eight. As I said, we're always working. $24 on the eight wins $28. It's $28. Again, we just go ahead and rack that. And then we will come down one unit. And you would just tell the dealer, pull me down one unit. The four and the 10, they haven't won yet, so they stay at their $20 level. Place her out. Eight again, five, three, eight. Here's showing the uh, strategy. There's multiple combinations. The 10 ways to win the six and eight um, may be paying out. So $12 on the, uh, on the eight is going to go ahead and pay us $14. What we'll do is 15 for one. Drop the dealer a dollar. Go ahead and rack that. Place her out. Eight again, eight easy. Six two eight this time. Six two eight eight easy. Again, that's going to pay us fifteen for one. So maybe there is some merit to the six and eight. Um, I said my guess was the four and ten. We'll see how it pays off. Place her out. Yo Levin, Yo Devine, the Dancing Queen. Check out Chiro the Mid Mo Yo. Just got a new table. It's got some good stuff going on. Place her out. 10, 10 on the end. This is Waylon's best friend, Waylon's strategy for 10 strategy. That 20 is going to go ahead and pay us $40. That's 25, 35, 40. And we go ahead and rack all this. These are no longer bought. And like I said, this is when Vig would come back because um, you pay up front. So just, it's easier to not worry about Vig. So racks are pretty close, but you see how quickly does that one hit uh, on the four and ten paid us back, um, where it took us multiple hits on that eight to see the same type of result. We're back to base level on all our numbers. Place her out. That's twelve midnight, twelve craps, all the dots and all the spots. Place her out. And that's a two one three. That's a three craps. Two one three, three craps. Oops. I can move my light. This stick. Stick work. Stick work. Gotta work on stick work. Place her out. Yo, Levin. Yo, Levin. Yo, Levine, that dancing queen. Looking for my ballerina 2-2. Two, two. Place her out. And there's an 8-8 eight, eight hard square pair. Jake and Rob at square pair. Again, 12 is going to pay us 14. We'll go ahead and pay it in red and white this time just because we want to keep our whites for caps when we need them. It's a good shooter here. Dice her out. Nine, neener nine. That's a center field nine. Doesn't help us, doesn't hurt us. Dice her out. Seven. That's a big red. That's a four, three, seven. Seven out. Again, we lose all of this. We're okay. We're going to go ahead and ladder up. Again, that's going to be $20 on the 4 and 10. Again, at this point, they will be bought. And $24 on the 6 and 8. We got a new shooter. This is shooter number 3. Place her out. Yo, Levin, that's a front line winner with the mid mo yo. Place her out. Big Red, 617, that's another front line winner, but we are working, so all of this will get lost. Now you'll get to see how this ladder works. Um, we'll see if this 410 comes back from it um, quicker than that 6 and 8, because we're gonna now going to be 30 on the 4 and 10. Again, bolt. And we're going to be 36 uh, on the 6 and 8. So we'll go ahead and drop 36 and 36 is 72. We'll drop $75, get $3 in change, and then have the dealer go ahead and set this up. 25, 35, 36. 
Back to back front line winners. Place her out. Oh! Four, three, seven. Four, three, seven. That's three back to back front line winners. Killing us on this ladder strategy, though. So let's see if we can come back. So we were at 30 on the 4 and 10. That now puts us up to 40 on the 4 and 10. 40 on the 4 and 10. And it's going to go ahead and put us at 48 on the... Sorry. Uh, yes, 48. This is another 12, 36, 48. Uh, so that's going to be 96. We'll drop 100. Get four back. 25, 25, 25, 45, 45, 6 or 7, 48, 6 or 7, 48. All right, let's see if we can get a point here. Price are out. Five, that's a four, one, five. It's a no field five. We finally got a point. As you see with this uh, ladder strategy, uh, cuts in the bankroll a lot quicker on this six and eight uh, because of that extra uh, cap you have to put on it. And it doesn't pay as good. So we'll see what happens. Dice are out. That's a pair of aces. Aces in both places. Two craps. Dice are out. Meaner nine. That's a five, four, nine. Center field nine. Dice are out. 314, Little Joe from Kokomo. That's a 314. We are at 40. Wait, 25, 30, 40. That will pay 80. 75, 80. As I said, we'll go ahead and rack that. Go ahead and bring this down. Uh, we are at 25, 30, 40. Yeah, so we bring down, we're back down to 30. We're still at 48 there because they haven't won. Place her out. Speak of the devil. It's a 5, 3, 8. 8 easy. 48 pays 56. 56. We'll go ahead and bring this down from 48 to 36. Bringing 24 back to our rack. Place her out. And that's a 2 2 ballerina. Hard four ballerina 2 2. 30 is going to pay us 60. 30, we're going to bring this, make this look like 20 each. Again, these are still bolt. And as you see, we are now already into winnings with uh, the 410. We are not in winnings on the 6 and 8. As I said, the 410 bounces back a lot quicker than I think the 6 8 will. So let's see what happens. Place her out. 3 2 5. It's a no field 5. That is the point. This is a hot shooter. Place her out. Again, three, two, five, right back on that five. Shooter likes the five. Dice are out. Eight, eight, easy. Five, three, eight. Five, three, eight. 36 on the eight pays 42. There's 42. Go ahead and rack that up. And then we're going to make this look like 24 each. And pull this all back. It's easier to do. 20. 20. 20. 4. 4. Helps make our bankroll look a little better. Place her out. 
Neener 9, 549. Stretch her out. And there's Big Red, 7 out. 7 out. So let's go ahead with this. We're going to call it a video. It's been about 15 minutes or so. Don't want to make these videos too long. Um, but I think I may have answered my own or proved my own point. We're at 300. 100. There's 315, 318, so it was an $18 win on those rollouts. And we are at 175, 200, 225, 235, 245, 252. So we lost on the 6 and 8. We small, saw a small profit on the 4 and 10. Um, my gut, as I said, 4 and 10 is the way to go. Yes, there are more ways to hit with the 6 and 8. Um, of course, this one dice rollout is not uh, the end-all, be-all to which pays better. It would take multiple iterations of this, but uh, this... When you have a gut feeling and, and you, you roll it out, um, maybe I had some bias there, but it looked like it worked for me. Um, the 4 and 10 seems to be the best way to play, just mostly because of the payout. You get that money that you lost back a lot quicker. So, I uh, hope you like this. As you see, if you're a subscriber and you have a, a question uh, or something that you want to see rolled out, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll be happy to try to roll it out for you. Um, Gary, hopefully you like this, and uh, for everybody else, keep practicing, and I hope to see you on the casino floor.